researchers of the Darwin Initiative wrap up their second year of fieldwork, the Department of Environment gets ready to go public with results from the first comprehensive scientific review of the island's marine park system. Well, there's no doubt that Cayman's marine environment is a truly remarkable place. Spectacular coral reefs, crystal clear waters, beautiful beaches, a huge diversity and range of fish and animals. So it's really something that is to be valued by everybody, uh, not just Caymanians alike. It's really a world resource and uh, we're very proud to have that under the Department of Environment and as something that we look after. You know, the coral reefs are basically the rainforest equivalent below water. People get in there and they're absolutely are flabbergasted by it. how alive vibrant and everything is it's a whole new world and to experience that is very emotional in one sense and that's what keeps people coming back to enjoy that and if we can do that we ensure the viability of our product as a tourism destination and as Caymanian people that enjoy it in the past present and into the future but there's no doubt that the uh, environment is under a huge amount of impacts. Things are changing dramatically. Climate change is probably the largest, newest, most uh, devastating threat to the marine environment. And we're seeing a lot of that here. The Darwin Initiative, which is out of UK and the University of Bangor School of Ocean Sciences, have teamed up with the Department of Environment and the Nature Conservancy out of the US to um, review our current marine park system and measure the amount of um, resiliency that it offers at the moment. And are they configured in a optimum way that lends itself to being ready to face these new threats and survive into the future? Currently though, we do have a system of marine parks and a lot of people would say that the marine protected areas have done very well and, and, and why do we need more? But yes, protection is definitely, uh, has been at the forefront of the departments and indeed the Cayman Island government's approach to the marine environment. Uh, and regionally the, the marine parks are, are a long way ahead of a lot of areas. We're lucky to have a lot of enforcement. Um, our parks are not paper parks, they are looked after. But as I say, the changes that have occurred over the years since the parks have established have really changed. And as a result of that, we're having to modify or to look at different approaches to the way we manage the marine environment. The marine park system has, has served us very well. We'd like now to take that further, but we can't really think about redesigning a park system unless we have the facts or, the, if you like, the, the parameters to which we'd like to measure our parks against. Uh, and we have been looking at various measurable aspects of parks. In this instance, we're looking at numbers of fish, the amounts of fish that we find inside and outside parks. You would expect a marine protected area perhaps to have higher fish densities without once all the threats are removed. Uh, and indeed, these are the kind of things that we're finding evidence to support that the marine protected areas do work. Moving forward, public involvement and community stakeholder feedback will form a critical part of the review process. Simply put, the Department of Environment wants to hear from you. We are very hopeful that the public engage with us, not only to offer us their ideas, but to make them make informed decisions, because ultimately the future of the human and marine environment is in their hands, because everyone has a piece of this, whether it's the water sports operators, whether you sit on the beach, whether you fish, whether you dive, no matter what you do, anything that involves the marine environment. So you have every right as a Caymanian to have some say and the route we take.